thank you uh, for coming to my presentation. And this is the topic of my presentation. Maybe I have to explain the title itself. Currently, we have uh, many vaccines, especially the injectable vaccines. You know, they contain, for example, oil as an adjuvant. So how we can make this oil a stronger uh, adjuvant? So I will start with a problem, for example, <coughs> Many of the commercial vaccines they are injectable vaccines and they are very expensive, especially in the poultry industry where we are handling so many chickens. And also in these commercial vaccines, you have the oil as an, as an adjuvant, as an immune stimulant, and also the antigen in a separate bottle. So you have to mix these two together before administration. And also you have to administer really uh, large doses of these vaccines. And we have also so many uh, live virus vaccines. Still, they are the leading ones in protecting you know, chickens against pathogens. But the live chickens are not without uh, problems. So we need to find some alternatives. Some, some of the alternatives can be to generate uh, particle-based vaccines <laughs> where you have these uh, particles where you can place your adjuvant, for example, in black, and your vaccine, which is antigens, in blue, in one uh, particles and ad administer uh, through different routes. Because the effect of this uh, uh, method is just to reduce the dose and to make it cost effective. So the ob objective of our study is to develop an adjuvant and a vaccine delivery vehicle that slowly release you know, what it contains. For this purpose, we all know that we have an appropriate uh, raw materials, for example, absorbable suture materials. We have also some starch which can be utilized to prepare the microparticle based vaccines. And we have currently a lot of immune stimulants like the toll like receptor ligands. We can incorporate this, uh, ad this immune stimulant or the vaccine into this particle so that it contains all the antigen and uh, uh, adjuvant together. And we just did some study, for example, as you can see, when you uh, provide uh, uh, chicken cells with such pa particles, they can induce, for example, a higher expression of the immune uh, gene expressions, which is shown in red. And also, in you, you can also see the solid particles which contains the, uh, the adjuvant of interest can really induce a higher uh, uh, response. It means that if we formulate uh, our adjuvant into such uh, particles, we can really enhance the immune responses. So the long-term effect of this study is we have our uh, particles containing everything, the, uh, the adjuvant and the, va uh, and the vaccine. And this can be, for example, easily applied uh, before uh, the chicks were hatched in the Innovo set, in, in Innovo vaccination setting. And also we can apply such uh, methods, uh, especially in hatchery, we, they, we can fumigate the chickens so that they in inhale the particles. And also we can apply in the drinking water and also we can uh, uh, put the particles in uh, some feed. So uh, this may really ease our uh, method of applications. And also we, can, uh, we don't really waste a lot of uh, uh, vaccine preparations. And finally, I would just like to extend my acknowledgement for funding and uh, Professor uh, Shyam Shari for yeah, supervising the study and all my colleagues from the uh, immunology lab. Thank you so much.